Señor.
Can we just go ahead and just bless the name of the Lord this morning? It can be the all that matters is all that matters. We give you praise to the matters. <clears throat> Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, awesome God. Thank you, Jesus. Let's go ahead this morning and bless the name of the Lord because indeed he is all that matters. Let's give him the praise. Let's celebrate him. Thank him for his faithfulness. Thank him for his mercy. <clears throat> Thank him for his love, his unfailing love. Father, we give you all the praise this morning. We celebrate your name, Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. Thank you, awesome God. Lord, we are so we are the ones that you have helped. We are the ones that you have saved. We celebrate you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. So we have a special minister in the house this morning. So I'll be handing over to uh, Mrs. Adewumi to lead us in the prayers this morning. Over to you, ma'am. All right. Thank you very much. Pastor Frankel, and thank you for the opportunity, especially in this time. <laughs> okay. Um, happy one year anniversary to us all. And we'll just be kickstarting the prayer with um, Thanksgiving. Off of Thanksgiving, let's um, worship the name of the Lord for another opportunity to gather again. Let's thank Him for the strength. Let's thank Him for for everything he has done over the past one year. He has been faithful. Let's worship the name of the Lord. Let's thank him. It's by his mercy that we are still here. It's by his grace that we are still living. It's by his grace that we are still here. Let's worship him. Let's adore him. Let's give him glory. Let's give him all the honor. Let's thank him. Let's thank him. Let's worship him for strength, for hope. Bible says, never forget your promises to your servant, for they are our holy oath. 
They give us strength in all our troubles. They refresh and revive us. That's Psalm 119, verse 49 to 15. Let's thank him for his promises. Let's thank him for his our sure hope, sure hope in um, the world that um, seems not to be palatable. You know, if you're going to be looking at the worst and the, it seems the situation around seems seems uncomfortable or seems not comfortable for a Christian. But let's thank him because he has been a sure hope. He has been a sure foundation. The Bible says, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. Let's thank him all that he still allow us to look unto him despite it all. Let's worship him. Let's thank him. Let's worship him. Let's adore him also for his promises over our life. This promise, the Bible said, the promise of God, he said they are sure. They are sure they are firm, they are sound. They are everything to us. Lord, thank him, Lord Father, for his promises that even when we pass through water, he's going to be with us. Even when we pass through fire, he will not let the fire to burn us. Rather, he will save us from every tribulations we pass through. The Bible said, he said in the world, he said, surely we shall go through tribulation, but we should be of good cheer because he has overcome the world. Let's thank him for his, this sure promises. Let's thank him for this sure hope. Let's worship the name of the Lord because he is God. He is God that gives us hope at the end of the day. Let's thank him, Lord. I thank you, Lord Father, for giving me hope. I thank you for giving me promises, oh Lord Father. I thank you, Lord Father, for these promises that I stand upon. I thank you, Lord Father, because I'm looking unto you, God, because you are a sure hope, you are sure strength, you are God in time of trouble, in time of in, in, when we are going through good times, when we are going through bad times. You, you have been our God, oh Lord. Lord, we worship you, Lord, we thank you. Even over the past one year that I started this prayer, we thank you, Lord Father, for miracles, miracles, oh Lord Father. We thank you for things that we can see. Thank you, Lord Father, the things, oh Lord Father, that you're working on. Father, the things, oh Lord Father, that we can see yet, Father, we worship you. We adore you, Lord, for in Jesus' name we pray. Let's not thank him for, for strength, especially in our moment of doubt, in our moment of troubling moment, in our troubling moment, let's thank him for strength, with our strength. The Bible said our strength is made perfect, our, our weakness is made perfect in his strength. Father, Lord, let's thank you, Lord, Father, because yes, when we are weak, he gives us strength, because when we lose strength, we lose it all. But still, that we are gathering again, that we are gathering as family, that we are gathering and calling on to God, that means we have the strength. Let's thank you for this strength, for the extraordinary strength that you have given unto us. Lord, we thank you, Lord Father, for this extraordinary strength, oh Lord. We thank you, Lord Father, for, for, our, for, 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 for the energy you are giving us, even in our moment of doubt, in our moment of dashing hope, oh Lord Father, in our moment that we think, oh Lord Father, everything is as finished. But you still give us strength that you will be with us. You know, the Bible said you will be with us, you will never leave us. He will never forsake us. You know, these promises, these promises that the Bible says, promise, I yea and amen. Go, Lord Father, we thank you, Lord Father. We thank you, Lord Father, for the strength, oh Lord. We thank you, Lord Father, for being our strength, oh Lord Father, in moments of doubt. We thank you, Lord Father, for being our strength, oh Lord Father, in trouble moments. We worship you, we adore you, and let's now pray for today. That God, oh Lord Father, you refresh me. You refresh us, oh Lord Father. You revive us today in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's pray, Lord Father, that you, oh Lord Father, you revive me today. You revive us today in the mighty name of Jesus. You revive us, oh Lord Father, you revive us. You revive us in the mighty name of Jesus. You refresh us today. Our strengths are renewed. Our strengths are refreshed. We are revived. Our body is revived in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. To face today's task, oh Lord, to go through today's to today's to this work, oh Lord Father, is revived, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you, Lord Father, for this time of refreshing, oh Lord. We thank you, Lord Father, because the Bible said, He said, day by day, oh Lord Father, He said, we, we, we receive your mercy. He said, new mercy we receive day by day. Father, we thank you, Lord Father, because, oh Lord Father, you are reviving us today. You are refreshing us today. We are coming up with new hope, new idea, ideas, fresh ideas in the mighty name of Jesus. You are giving us strength to conquer the world today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are conquering the things that seem unconquerable today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you, Lord Father. Father, we worship you. We thank you, Lord Father, because the time will be refreshing for us. 
Father, we worship you. We adore you. We thank you, Lord Father, for in Jesus' name we have prayed. Let's now pray. The Bible said, we said in Psalm 119, verse 37, we said, turn me away from wanting any other plan. I said, Apart from yours, sorry. <laughs> he said, turn me away from wanting any other plans apart from yours. Revive my heart towards you. Let's now pray, oh Lord Father. That God, oh Lord Father, I just want to stand with you. I just want your plan, the Bible, because the Bible said, he said, for I know the thoughts I have towards you. The Bible says the thoughts of peace are not of evil to give us a future and a hope. Another one says to give us an expected end. Father, Lord, in the name of Jesus, but I want ain't no other thing except your plan for my life. I want any I don't want any other thing, oh Lord Father, except the, that blueprint that you have that you have made for my life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, in the name of your Father, turn me away, Lord Father, from wanting any other plan, even plan that comes from me, because the Bible said, He said, it ways it taught, the way it taught, Lord Father, are totally different from our thoughts. He said, as the heaven is higher than the earth, He said, so are His thoughts higher than our thoughts. And his ways higher than our ways. God will learn the name of Jesus. But I want no other thing for your plan for my life. I want no other way for your ways for my life because I know that your way is sure. Your way is sure. Your way is sound because you say the end from the beginning. The Bible said concerning Jeremiah, he said, I knew you. He said, Before you were formed, I knew you. Before you were even before you were conceived, I know everything. I know every step of your way. God will learn the name of Jesus, my Father. I don't want to go with any other plan go accept your plan in my life in the mighty name of jesus christ father i don't want to go with any other plan except your plan for my life in the mighty name of jesus christ so in jesus name we pray let's now pray lord father i want you to revive my heart towards you i want that fire the fire the fire that you gave me lord father the, that fire the holy spirit all of us to continue to burn in my heart in the mighty name of jesus christ father revive my heart towards you father revive my heart towards you in the mighty name of jesus christ let my heart continue to burn towards you lord father Towards your plan for my life, towards your towards everything you have for my life, the Bible said. He said, He said, every good and perfect is coming from the Father of light. He said, with whom there is no variation or any shadow of turning. That means all the good things I desire there with you, God. Father, Lord, the name of Jesus, right? That's why, Lord Father, I want to, Lord Father, to revive my heart towards you so that I will not miss any of those plans that you have for my life. So that I will not miss every of those good things that you have for my life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I revive my heart towards you. Father, I revive my heart towards you. Revive my heart towards you. Everyone, oh Lord Father, under, under, this, under, under, under this family, oh Lord Father, revive their, revive their heart towards you, God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Revive their heart towards you, Lord. Revive our heart towards you. In the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Say, Lord, I confess today that I, that I choose your way. I confess to you today that I choose your way. I will never depart from your way. I confess to you, Lord, that I choose your way in the mighty name of Jesus. And I receive the grace to desire nothing for your plans for my life. Revive my heart, O oh God that I may be more sensitive to your lady. Lord, I pray on the name of Jesus Christ, Father. Lord, I confess, O Lord, Father, to choose your way. I receive nothing but your plans for my life. Oh God, we receive, O Lord, Father, we receive that grace to be more sensitive to your leading and never depart from your leading. This is our declaration to the Lord. We confess you to the Lord, Father, that we choose your way. We receive the grace, O Lord, Father, to desire nothing but your plans for our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we invite our heart, oh Lord, oh Lord, that we may be more sensitive to your leading. Let us be more sensitive to your leading, oh Lord. We declare to the Lord Father that we will be more sensitive to your leading in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We'll be more sensitive to your leading. We confess, oh Lord Father, that we choose your way, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. We receive the grace to desire nothing but your plans for our life. Revive our heart to the words you, God, and we'll be more sensitive to your leading in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we pray. Yeah, in Romans 8, verse 11, TPT, he said, yes, God raised Jesus to life. And since God's spirit of resurrection lives in you, he will also raise our dying body to, li to life by the same spirit that breathed life into us. 
Let's now pray, Lord Father, that the same God that raised Jesus to life, God, oh Lord Father, revive that spirit of resurrection that lives in us. Revive that spirit of resurrection that lives in us. In the name of Jesus Christ. We pray on the name of Jesus that I read God, oh Lord Father, you raise our dying body to life. By the same spirit that breathes life into us. Oh Lord Father, everything that seems dead in our life, oh Lord, we pray, Lord Father, that you receive life of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, oh Lord Father, we pray on the name of Jesus. We speak life to every dead situation, every dead circumstances in our life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In our place of work, in our career, every situation that seems dead, oh Lord Father, we speak life, receive life of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Is there a marriage, oh Lord Father, that the Lord Father that seems dead, oh Lord Father, receive life of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Our finances, oh Lord Father, oh Lord Father, everything, oh Lord Father, that looks dead in it, oh Lord. We speak the word of God, oh Lord, we speak life into you, God. That oh Lord Father, and the name of your finances, oh Lord Father, receive life in the name of Jesus Christ. Our spiritual life, oh Lord Father, may be seen dead, oh Lord Father, may be seen, oh Lord Father, drifting away, oh Lord Father. Father, we prolong the. <coughs> <laughs> Excuse me. We pray, Lord Father, that you God will receive life in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that seems dead around us, oh Lord Father, receive life, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. It's in the life of our spouses, in the life of our parents, in the life of our children, it's in the life of our family, Lord Father. Is there anything that is dead, oh Lord Father? Oh Lord Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you, Spirit of God. We pray, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, Father, every brain that seems dead. That seems dead, that seems nothing is happening, Lord Father. We pray, Lord Father, that you receive life of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Every children, Lord Father, every of our children's brain, that seems dead, Lord Father. That seems that nothing seems working. We don't everything we could, Lord Father, but it looks as if nothing is working. But we pray on the name of your Father as we gather again today. We pray on the name of your Father that that same spirit of restoration, that resurrected, Lord Father, Jesus Christ in that day. Father, Lord Father, let them receive life. Life, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. That child's brain received life, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. That child's brain received life in the name of Jesus Christ. And every business is, oh Lord, Father. That sin's death, oh Lord, Father, received life today in the name of Jesus Christ. We speak the word of life into it, oh Lord, Father. We speak the word of resurrection to it, oh Lord, right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for hearing us, oh Lord. For in Jesus' name we pray. And we pray, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. This is our declaration. These are promises, O oh Lord Father. This is what we say to all, to our lives, O oh Lord. We speak light to everything around us. We declare that God's spirit of resurrection that lives in us. Therefore, we speak light to everything around us. We speak light to our career. We speak light to our business. We speak light to our investments, O oh Lord. We speak light to our relationship. We speak light to our spouses. We speak light to our children. We speak light to our siblings. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, receive life, O oh Lord. Receive life, O oh Lord. Receive life in our career. Receive life in our businesses. Receive life in our investment. Receive life in our relationship. Let there be life in the life of our spouses. Let there be life in, in our children's life. Let there be life in our siblings' life, O Lord. Let there be life, O Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. And every sickness that sins, O Lord, Father, that there is no solution. Father, we speak life to you. Every dead cells that seems not to be working, we speak life to you. Every dead situation, every sickness situation, we speak life to you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We speak life to you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We speak life to you. In the name of Father, let me receive life, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every dying body, every dying cells, every blood that seems not to be functioning, every organ that seems not to be functioning, we speak life to you right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every situation that seems not to be working, O Lord Father, Ah, we speak light to you. I don't know whether you remember one family, a family friend that sins, oh Lord Father, that they spent everything, oh Lord Father, that they spent all the money, all the resources, they spent everything. Lord Lord Father, you can use this prayer as a point of contact to them. That we speak light to those situations. We speak light, oh Lord Father, to those circumstances. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every sick body receives light. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every sick circumstance 
person receive life in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, Lord, Lord Father, because you've answered us, Lord. Thank you, Lord Father, because you've answered us. Thank you, Lord Father, because you've answered us, Lord. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. So when I think of the wisdom and scope of his plan, I fall down on my knees and pray to the Father of the grace family of God summers them already in heaven and some down on earth that out of his glorious unlimited resources he will give all the mighty inner strengthening of the Holy Spirit Ephesians 3 verse 13 to 16 let's now declare that out of God's glorious and unlimited resources we are strengthened by the Holy Spirit we declare on the name of Jesus Christ that out of God's glorious unlimited resources, all of us, we are strengthened by the Holy Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, declare, say it, all of Father, personalize it. Mary, I deal with me. I am strengthened by the Holy Spirit. I am strengthened by the Holy Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I am strengthened by the Holy Spirit. I am strengthened by the Holy Spirit. I am strengthened by the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, every area of my life that seems weak, every area of my life that seems I have given up, every area of your life that seems you have given up, you have given up on life, you have given up on country, you have given up on situations, given up on relationship. Father, I go on the name of God that we are strengthened by the Holy Spirit today. We are strengthened by the Holy Spirit today. We are strengthened by the Holy Spirit today. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we are strengthened by the Holy Spirit today. Holy Spirit strengthen us today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit strengthen us today in the name of Jesus Christ. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. And said, I am able to comprehend wisdom and scope of God's plan for my life. I am able to comprehend wisdom and scope of God's plan for my life. I am able to comprehend the scope and, and God's plan for my life. God, I pray to you, Lord Father, that I'm able to comprehend the scope. And <laughs> if you say we want to even learn the way the Bible said, it said they are totally different. The way God thinks is totally different from the way we human think. But God, oh Lord Father, help me to see you today. Help me to be able to comprehend. Help me to be able to understand what you have been planned for my life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I am walking in his reality today. I am walking in the reality of God's plan for my life today. I am walking in the reality of God's plan for my life today. I know all the plans. You know, when you have when you have a, a revelation of God's plan for your life, for our, for our life, it makes things easier for us. It's when we don't have that revelation, that's when we say, oh, all oh, this, all oh, that. But when we have God's revelation for our life, it makes life easier for us. It makes things easier for us. That God will offer that today. I receive the wisdom as God's growth, and I'm working in reality of it today in the mighty name of jesus christ this is my declaration today this is my confession to the Lord of father i am working in god's plan for my life i am working i am able to comprehend the wisdom and scope of god's plan for my life today in the mighty name of jesus christ and i'm working in his reality today in the mighty name of jesus christ and finally said i have all i need to achieve god's plan for me i have all the resources i need out of god's abundance resources. I have it today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I have that idea that I need to succeed, to make a global representation. I have that idea that I need in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I have that strength that I need today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I have that courage that I need today. I have that courage that I need to do Lord, for us to achieve God's plan for me today in the name of Jesus Christ. I have that aura that I need in the mighty name of Jesus Christ to stand out today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I have everything that I need. Everything that I need, I have it, O Lord Father. Out of the uh, God, abundant blessings, the abundant resources that God that has given us, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I have all that I need, O Lord Father. 
I have the strength that I need, oh Lord. I have the resources that I need. I have the aura that I need. I have the confidence that I need. I have the boldness that I need. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, boldness to speak up when it's when 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 I need to speak up. Boldness, oh Lord, to talk when I need to talk. Boldness to talk, oh Lord, to ask questions when I need to ask questions. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, boldness, oh Lord, to chase after that customer. Boldness, oh Lord, to chase after that client. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, boldness. Oh Lord, Father, to say things that I need to say, oh Lord, Father. Moses, oh Lord, Father, to speak the word, the right words, oh Lord, Father, concerning the customer in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Revelation, oh Lord, Father, goodness, oh Lord, Father, to, have, to see insight, to see ahead, oh Lord, Father, of, of, of that customer in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I have all that I need to achieve God's plan for me in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Isaiah 37, verse 31. He said, And you are left in Judah, we take root. And you who are left in Judah, we take root in your own soul and flourish and multiply. He said, As I go out today, I am planted, I am built up. As I go out today, I declare that I am planted, I declare that I am built up. And I am rooted in God's purposes for me in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I declare, Lord Father, as I go out today, I am planted like the seed of Lebanon. I am built up. I am rooted in God's purposes for me in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I declare, Lord Father, that no one can chase me out of God's plan, out of God's counsel for my life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I remain unmovable. I remain unstoppable in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I remain unstoppable. I remain unremovable, unremovable uh, from God's plan for my life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I remain unshakable in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, no one can chase me out of God's plan for my life. The plans of God's, all of our God's cancer for my life stand today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In my career, the God's plan for my life, all of our this time. They remain sure in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Bible said, God is our firm foundation. That song said, he said, Christ is my firm foundation, the rock on which I stand. When all around, when everything around me is failing, I'll never be your right. I put my faith in Jesus, because he never let me then. Faithful through generations, so I'll be lifted and even. Because he's God, he's God, God's cancer is all of Father. I declare on the name of Jesus Christ, Father, that today I remain unshakable. I remain unstoppable. Nobody, no one, all of Father, will be able to chase me out of God's plan for my life. No one will be able to chase me out of God's cancer for my life today. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I remain unshakable. I remain unstoppable. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I go out and swear. I go out and shine. I go out and speak up. I go out and, count and, co and conquer places in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I go out and conquer territories today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Territories that seems not to be conquerable. I go out and conquer it today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let's pray, Lord Father, that we are flourishing. We multiply in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Today we are flourishing. Today we multiply. The Bible says, concerning this blessed out of the banner, it said it flourishes. The Bible says, concerning Isaac, he flourishes, he planted, he, he, he harvested, oh Lord Father, oh Lord, I declare today, I flourish in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I flourish, I multiply in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let's not pray, oh Lord Father, I, I, I experience increase in all aspects of my life today. I pray, Lord, that I experience increase in all aspects of my life today. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, Lord Father, let's begin to thank the name of the Lord because he has answered us. Let's begin to worship, Lord, Lord Father, because he is faithful God. Let's thank you, Lord, Father, because all our words, Lord, Lord Father, all our declaration has been answered today. Let's declare, Lord, Lord Father, that we come back with testimony, Lord, Lord Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, chocolate of testimony. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we worship, Lord, Lord Father, because we are coming me back, Lord Father, with barriers of our testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ, let all of us thank you, Lord Father, because you've answered us today. Thank you, Lord Father, because you've answered us, Lord Father. We worship you, adore you. We give glory for in Jesus' name we are pray. Amen. Okay. 
So our announcement. Um, so um, kindly drop your testimonies um, at um, um, bit.ly slash win testimonies. Then uh, kindly remember to share the link on your status updates and to your groups with this link presented. And please remember to follow as Dele Ayobankole on Mixer, YouTube, and other platforms. Also, you can download the prayer points on www.deleayobankole.com. And replace, we trust that replace will be on YouTube and Hancock every Friday. And it's time for us to unmute ourselves and declare our closing creed. Something massive is coming, massive is coming, is coming my, way my way today. today. I believe I it, I receive it, I receive it, it. and it has become my reality. Something massive is coming my way today. I believe it. Something massive is coming my way today. I believe it. I receive it. And it has become my reality. Praise the Lord. Good morning, everybody. It's a blessed day. Good morning, sir. Thank you so much, Mrs. Adele. May God bless you. That was awesome. Thank you. It's a beautiful day, everybody. Let's enjoy God's grace today. Hallelujah. Have a nice day. Something huge is coming our way. Praise God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's your winning day, praise God.